Hello everyone, welcome back and thank you for watching. In today's video, I will be making some very quick and easy Easter home decor DIYs using mostly Dollar Tree items. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you do, please give it a thumbs up and now let's craft. Starting with my first project, I will be making an egg topiary using this Dollar Tree cone and this candle holder. I'm going to start by gluing the cone to the candle holder using hot glue. I will be covering the cone with some Dollar Tree Spanish moss. I will not be using some Dollar Tree eggs. Instead, I'm using these that I grabbed last year from Hobby Lobby. Dollar Tree does scary eggs that you can use. These two are two different sizes of eggs. I am going to add them just here and there until I like how they look. And this is how it looks so far. Now, I didn't add a lot of moss, but now that once my eggs are glued on there, I will be adding some more. This is how it looks. Now to finish this off, I'm using a Dollar Tree ribbon to make a little bow on the candle holder. But that is it. Look how cute and easy this was. For my next project, I will be using this Dollar Tree decor sign. This says Bless This Nest. I am going to make this more Easter y, so I'm removing the back and the image in the front. The scrapbooking paper I'm using is from Hobby Lobby. I am going to cut it to size and glue it. I'm going to glue these bunnies to this sign. Now these bunnies are from Dollar Tree. I am going to add these vertical. I will be not adding any words to this sign, so that is all I'm adding. Look how cute and adorable this turned out.
For my next project, I will be using this beautiful bunny scrapbooking paper that I got from Hobby Lobby and this Dollar Tree sign, which I removed an image and then I removed the back. I did cut the paper to size and glued it in there and just add it back on the sign. And that was it. And look how cute this turned out. For my next project, I'm using this Dollar Tree sign. Now this one right here comes from the Christmas season, but Dollar Tree carries different signs so you can use instead. I did try to remove the image, but it was pretty hard, so instead I used the back. Now I'm going to use the same scrapbooking paper the bunny one and this buffalo check one as you can see the scrapbooking paper isn't big enough so i am going to use the other one to cover the little piece at the bottom i'm going to just cut it to size Like I mentioned earlier, I am going to use this scrapbooking paper to cover the little piece that it's missing from the bunny paper. So I'm using Mod Podge to just glue both of the scrapbooking papers. I had this carrot from a different sign so what I'm going to do is just remove the orange image and add some of this scrapbooking paper to cover it. After adding the scrapbooking paper I finished this carrot off by wrapping some of the jute twine and making a bow and adding it to where the green and the scrapbooking paper meet. And this is how it looks. Now I'm going to add this to my sign at the top but slant it. I'm using some jute twine to put this at the bottom and then I'm going to add welcome to our home sign, which I got from Hobby Lobby. I'm going to add this slanted. And that is it for this sign. Look how beautiful this turned out. And that is it for today. I really hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Let me know down in the comment section which one was your favorite because I would love to know. So thank you so much for watching and until next time. Bye.